So, Leroy Nardis, good to see you again, brother. I'm back. How you doing? Pretty good. Excellent, excellent. Finally so, got this bad boy together. So, we see you got a new toy. Yes. Tell us a little bit about it. What is the make and model on that weapon? This is a Savage uh, 110. Uh, I believe, uh, F, uh, PS, F, FPS uh, in the 308 caliber. Excellent. So, from excellent. the last video, or last time I was here, we were in the process of uh, painting the stock. Right, right. Yeah, I got some footage of that. Switch some things up when, when you watch the video. Yeah. You'll probably see that here in a second. Uh, we started with the uh, green coat, all green coat, then put the netting over top, did some t tan, and then at the last second, I switched up my plan and used the old dragon scale uh, template to do some strategic stripes. So, with doing that, the the gun name, you know how I am. I always got to give my weapons a name. It just hit me with Chocolate Anaconda. Because it just has that, that Chocolate Anaconda look to it. Couldn't resist. So yeah. this, ladies and gentlemen, this is Chocolate Anaconda. Okay, so what kind of stock is on that thing? Uh, this is that... Uh, is that an HS Precision? HS Precision stock. Okay, all right. It's like an M M3, something like so. that. Yeah, the paint job turned out nice. Now you got some. Uh, you replaced the bottom metal so that it will accept Accuracy International uh, standard uh, 308 or uh, NATO cartridges. Got a real beefy magazine. Yeah, a good magazine. That. You can put a 10 rounder. They got 20 rounders in there for that thing. It'd be a little weird though. It'd probably stick out too far, too far. to hit the yeah, ground. I just need yeah. A 10. 10 rounders real standard for that kind of thing. Five rounder for when I go hunting. Yeah. Now you got the uh, that does have the Accu trigger. Yes, it does. And what, what would you, you haven't tested the pull weight on that uh, trigger, have you? I think that comes standard at one and a half. Yeah. One and a half, two pounds. Yeah, I, was, I felt of it myself. It seemed like it might have been just over one pound, which yeah. is pretty, that's pretty good. Pretty good, absolutely. Yeah, nice, nice, easy breaking point. Yeah. Now you've got the, um, you got a, uh, looks more kind of like a varmint contour barrel on there it's not a standard burl barrel it does have a slight taper to it is that like a varmint style well look at it so it's got a little bit of taper but it's very close to the bull barrel yeah yeah absolutely and then you had the muzzle bake the muzzle brake put on there yep surefire muzzle brake okay it's got a surefire muzzle brake excellent excellent and how's the felt recoil on this thing uh recoil with the muzzle brake it feels more like my 243 does it really yeah yeah reduce the kick from uh, the, uh, the last 308 the, the bolt gun named spartacus yeah it doesn't kick nearly as hard as that right right yeah, definitely, definitely. So uh, now that thing's got a little bit of weight to it, which you would anticipate with some good, you know, it's pretty outfitted with a lot of good stuff on it. Yeah, it's so got a little weight to it. It's probably going to be 11, well, 11, about pounds. 11 pounds. Uh, nice cheek weld. Uh, this is adjustable. You got the monopod on the back and the bipod on the front. Now you've got a Picatinny um, mount on the front of that thing instead of a standard. Um, swivel mount yes and you liked is that seem pretty sturdy and Very stable sturdy. for you yeah excellent excellent I we, we tested the bolt the bolt is real nice and smooth clean clean crisp break on that uh, that trigger um, now you've got a vortex uh, PS Viper PST on there Yep, vortex Viper PST with that, the EBR 2C reticle EBR 2C reticle excellent and is that uh, it has a, it's illuminated as well we can yes, see so that's a pretty good long-range scope and it's got it's got a Christmas tree reticle in there. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It was fun looking for it when I finally found it. I ordered it on the spot. Yeah, I bet you did. Yeah, those things are they're sometimes hard to find. Okay, so you got a is that that's a GG and G unit quick release uh, unit mount on there. Yes, sir. Excellent, excellent. And um, anything else that you have put on there that's non-standard? Yes. My shooting partner uh, put this on the, on the cheek rest that I had before I got to you. give it a little bit more height. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we uh, drilled a hole through it and yeah, mounted it to the mounted them on down. Gotcha, gotcha. As well as I uh, drilled the holes through the through the actual stock right. to lock down the cheek rest. Right. And did you uh, you have had it out to test fire? Yes, I did. And what what ammo were you using for the testing? Uh, for the break in, I used the um, Hornady the Amex. Okay. With a twenty round uh, break in. 168 grain. 168 grams. Okay. And then for the um, actual uh, 
shooting for record, he used 168 grain or uh, GM 308s, Sierra Match the, Kings. Uh, the, okay, that's a federal gold medal match with yes. the Sierra Match Kings. 178 grain, 175. 100, 175. 175 grain yeah. Sierra Match Kings. Okay. So that's what I'm going to build the load around. Excellent, excellent. And do you you don't happen to have a target picture that we can roll in, do you? Yes, I do. All right, well, yes. we'll, we'll get that from you, and we will roll it in with the footage at this time when we're talking about that. That'd be pretty cool to get, you know, take a look at the uh, grouping on that thing. That'd be yes. nice to see. So uh, what is your intended usage for this thing? Intended usage for this is the, uh, the PRS series, the Precision Rifle series. Oh, are you going to be joining a tactical competition? Yes, I am. I, I, made, I made the cut. I'm on, a, I'm on the circuit. So my first actual shoot is going to be uh, May 21st and 22nd down in uh, Fort Collins, Colorado. Fort Collins? Yes. Yeah. Well, you're from Colorado, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. It's Absolutely. old stomping ground. The so old stomping ground. <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to going yeah. back for that weekend. Right, right, right. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so you're heading to Fort Collins, Colorado in, uh, what, a couple, about a month? Uh, a couple months. A month, couple months? Month, two, month and a half. Month and a half. To, uh, what is the name of that competition? Uh, Precision Rifle Series. The Precision Rifle PRS. Series. And what does that entail? What, what's the deal with that? It's uh, two guns. It's going to be rifle and a uh, handgun. Okay. And your shooting range is um, from um, 400 to 1,000 yards with your rifle and 25 to 100 with your uh, pistol. A hundred yard pistol. Yes. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that challenge. You'd want like an FN 5.7 for something <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet you are. I'll bet you are. So you, you and a partner are going to be participating in yes. that? Excellent, excellent. That sounds like a good time. Now you will be, uh, I imagine you guys will be doing a lot of practice here in town yes. in Arizona as you're getting ready for this competition. Where will you do your uh, your practice for this? Uh, most of the time it will be Ben Avery okay. and then um, Cowtown. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Now tell us a little bit about Cowtown. What's this? Cowtown is a, a primarily a paintball uh, place out there, uh, North Pier over by Lake Pleasant. Uh, but they also have a long distance rifle course. Really? Yes. And is that private or is that public? It's, it's private. It is Probably private. You gotta pay a buttload of money for the day to shoot. Do you really? Yes. I gotcha. I gotcha. Nice range though? Very nice range. Shoot yeah. out to a thousand. No kidding. It's a hundred out to a thousand. Very nice. Uh, still targets. Very nice. Various sizes. Nice. Very nice. Uh, good, good opportunity to work on your dope and ranging and lock it down. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, man. Very nice. Well, it's excellent, excellent to see you again, and we can't wait to uh, maybe get some footage of you shooting this thing here pretty soon, and, and uh, we wish you the best of luck and success in the competition. Thank you. So uh, thanks for stopping by. Hey, it's a pleasure. Rock and roll, buddy. <laughs>